uh, chlorine then, uh, I get a lot of questions about chlorine. Chlorine is another issue, is an issue for me and was one of the alarms that I had. I had two big alarms when I first started taking a look at water that made me become water conscious. One was fluoride and the other one is chlorine, which is found commonly in our water. I'm not even talking about all these other things that we, we know are in our water in today, but this is what is put into our water. So with chlorine, uh, I could go on and on and would ask you to, to, to contact or communicate us with more, uh, with more questions if you would like. But simply put, I'm not so much against chlorine. It does a lot of good things. Uh, it kills a lot of microbes. It kills a lot of, uh, uh, of, of um, bacteria that you need, that you don't need in your body. But it also kills the good bacteria in your body. So it's kind of interesting because what happens is this is, and I say this to any of you who have grandchildren or have children or are about to have them, chlorine, if you go into a swimming pool, it'll, it makes my, my face just get beet red and it dries on up. Now when I drink it, it makes me wanna puke because my body can't handle that. What it's doing, it's killing my ability to, to, cons to digest my food because it's killing the good enzymes, the good bacteria that we have to help digest our foods. Plus, think about this. There's a lot of babies that are out there that are crying all the time. You know why they're crying? One of the reasons is because they're no longer being breastfed, by the way. The mother's the purification system is the distiller for that baby. But the other reason is because uh, they now take formula. And with formula, they use the, it says just use water. So they use water, and that water has chlorine in it. No wonder that baby's crying all the time. No wonder your, your grandparents can't digest their food. That baby is having its little esophagus and its little stomach burnt. Who wouldn't cry? I can't sleep at night uh, when I when I drank a water that has chlorine in it. I could go on and on about that, but. Look into that, it's just common sense. You don't have to be a brain scientist. You don't have to talk to someone with a high degree or a high uh, a title that says, oh, that's not true. Well, it's absolutely true. It's back to chemistry 101, and I've shared that with plenty of doctors, and none have been able to disagree with me because it's simple, and it's straightforward, and it's honest. So uh, some of you, by the way, if you look into more chlorine, already know that your skin takes in a lot of chlorine as well. So uh, chlorine, I'm not against that. I'm not against the chlorine industry, uh, but you know, treat the water, transport it, contain it. But, but friends out there, you know, just make sure that before you eat the hamburger, you take off the wrapper. So what do I mean by that? Before you consume the water, at least take out the chlorine. A filter will do that for you but a distiller will do a lot more for you than that because there's a lot more harmful things in your water than what your city or government puts in the water. So if you have more questions on that, please uh, give us a call and please remember again that, uh, oh, by the way, uh, when it comes to chlorine and uh, detoxification, there's a lot of reports. I get calls all the time from people who have health issues, so they, they're happy to share them with me. But one of them that I'm happy to report for some of you who may be expecting right now, a distiller, I have a family who had a whole line of swelling problems. And, 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 that, and I took a look and I listened to that and they said it's a DNA. Well, it's probably, they have the propensity to have that in DNA. I'm not saying that they don't, but I told uh, this particular person, who was a neighbor by the way, uh, drink distilled water, you're toxic. It's gonna help you not swell up as much. You know what, she did. On the next baby, she never swelled up. She's the only one in her family who hasn't swollen up, and that's because she drank distilled water. So, drink distilled water.